Hey everyone, today I'm doing a tutorial on this full face makeup. It's sort of like inspired for Valentine's Day. But before I get into this video, I want to talk to you guys about something really quick. About this watch that I'm wearing. What was that? Um, it's from this brand called One Face. And I was not sent this, I'm not being paid to talk about it, but I genuinely love this brand and I love the what they're doing so basically they have many different colors of these watches and they have different styles and stuff and each watch supports a different cause uh, for example mine supports cancer and the money that you spend on the watch goes towards each of those causes I really think you guys should check this out I will leave it down below like the link but it's just one face watch and yeah, I just really like them and I really wanted to talk to you guys about it. So yeah, if you guys are interested in how I got this makeup, um, then just go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing that I've already done is just um, wash and prime my face. I've really been loving the Dark Angels Face Wash from Lush. I like swear by it, honestly. And for primer, I used the Too Faced Hangover RX primer just because like my face has been a little bit dry lately. I don't know why, because I have oily skin, so that's a little bit weird. And then I also took my Makeup Forever Mattifying Primer just on my T-zone, because although my face is dry, my T-zone is still a little bit oily. So, Okay, for foundation, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundations. Can we, like, just count how many videos I've used this foundation in? I'm sorry if it seems a little bit repetitive, but I honestly, this is my go-to. Then I'm just going to be taking my Damp Beauty Blender. And I'm going to be using this to um, um, apply it and blend it onto my face. I love this foundation because um, it's very matte and it lasts literally all day. And it's a very um, good coverage. And it's really cheap. Like, it's a drugstore foundation and I like it more than my high-end ones. Well, more than some of my high-end ones. Alright, so then I'm going to go ahead and move on to concealer. I'm going to take my MAC Prep and Prime in the shade Bright Forecast and just apply a little bit of this underneath my eyes. I usually go in a triangle, like, mo triangle shape, um, but lately I've just kind of been applying it because, like, sort of messily, just because I've been going in with my fingers to kind of blend it out a little bit. So it doesn't really have to be a perfect shape right now. And then I'm going to take my Smashbox High Definition Concealer. This is in the shade Fair Light. And I'm just going to squeeze a little bit on my finger and then kind of distribute it between both my fingers. And this is what I mean. Um, I've been using my fingers to kind of just apply this concealer and also blend out the one underneath of it. I'm not blending them out completely with my fingers. I'm just using my fingers to sort of mix them together and also warm up the product a little bit and distribute it where I want. Now, and I'm also putting the concealer on the center areas of my face because I want those areas to be highlighted as well. I've been really liking the combination of these two. And I'm just going to blend them out with my Beauty Blender. And then just to set my concealer, I'm going to be taking this um, Airspun Loose Face Powder. This you can get at the drugstore, you can get at Walmart. And I'm just using my Beauty Blender to apply a little bit of this where I um, applied my concealer. This is just going to set my concealer like I said. Then I'm going to go ahead and take my MAC Studio Fix Powder in the shade C6 and I'm using a Real, Techn a Real Techniques powder brush just to um, mainly wipe away any excess powder, any excess of the translucent, white, whatever, loose powder. Just, what? Oh my god. Just to wipe away. Oh my god. So. I'm trying to wipe off the foundation off my lips because it's not a very cute look. <laughs> ah! Next, I'm going to go ahead and take my NARS Casino Bronzer and I'm using a MAC 187 brush, which is just a large stippling brush. And I'm going to get some of the products on there, top off the excess. And I'm going on my temples and also a little bit on my forehead. I'm taking the smallest amount and going underneath my jawline. 
All right, next I'm going to go in with blush. I'm going to be mixing two together. They're both from MAC. This one is called Desert Rose, and this one's called Raisin. I just really want my cheeks to have a nice pink, healthy look. So I'm just using a Real Techniques blush brush, and I'm hardly dipping my brush into these products because they're very pigmented, and I don't really want to look like a clown tonight. Like, I kind of want to look cute, so... Next, I'm going to go ahead and contour my face. I'm using my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, and I'm using a e.l.f. small sibling brush. I'm just mixing the lightest shade and the darkest shade. I'm really carving out these cheekbones. And then I'm just going to take the light shade on its own and use that to lightly contour my nose. And I'm also going underneath of my bottom lip. Just a little. Okay, in my last video that I posted, I mentioned that I've been highlighting my face last because I feel like when I wipe away fallout from eyeshadow, it kind of would wipe away my highlight. So I'm going to be doing that after I do the rest of my makeup. So we'll get back to it. Um, next, I'm just going to go ahead and do my brows. I'm going to film them off camera. I do have a brow tutorial if you want to check it out. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll be right back. Okay, so like I said, I just went ahead and did my eyebrows. It's actually a pretty good brow day today. Thank you. Okay, so I've already gone ahead and primed my eyelid. I used my, where is it? Um, seriously, where is it? Okay, so honestly, I don't really remember what I did. So we're just gonna like hope for the best. Um, I'm gonna take this Anastasia brush. Uh, it comes with the palettes that she makes. And I'm taking the fluffy side. And what I'm gonna be doing is mixing Sweetheart and Rebel from this palette and just applying this to my crease, sort of as like a transition shade almost. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and take uh, this end of the brush and I'm gonna take the shade Activist, which is just a very dark, warm brown, and I'm gonna pack this on the outer corner of my eye and bring it halfway into my crease. I'm not going all the way in, um, I'm just going halfway. Then I'm taking this Sephora, I think it's a number 10 brush, it's just a very uh, small blending brush and I'm taking a little bit more of Activist and I'm tapping off the excess and just using that to really blend that out because I don't want it to be um, like not blended, you know what I mean? Then I'm going to take a MAC 224 brush and I'm going to take the shade Rebel on its own and just sort of use that to help blend out the top edge. And then I'm going to take a MAC 213 brush which is just a shader brush and I'm going to take the shade Flower Child and mix it with um, Charmer and just apply this onto my lid just to brighten it up a little bit. Then with no extra product on my 224 brush, I'm just kind of going over everything again, just for one final blend. And then I'm going to take the Anastasia brush one last time with this side, and I'm taking Activist. I'm taking this just on the outer half of my lower lash line. Just like that. And I'm sort of bringing it forward a little bit, not too much. And then I'm going to take Rebel and just kind of go right here, kind of like the middle and the inner half of the lower lash line. Then I'm going to take my um, MAC 213 brush again, which is just the shader brush. And I'm going to be using a MAC pigment. This is in the shade Kits. Chimis. And I'm going to be spraying my brush with some MAC Fix Plus. And applying this damp to the inner corners of my eyes. Okay, so that's it for shadows. I'm gonna go ahead and um, apply some winged eyeliner and I'm gonna go ahead and apply my false lashes and then I'll be back. Okay, so now that my eyes are finished, um, just to let you guys know, I used my Cavon D tattoo liner in the shade Trooper. 
And I applied my Ardell 113s. This is just a new pack, but these are the lashes I used. And now I'm going to go ahead and highlight. I am using my MAC 135 brush to highlight. I tried it yesterday for the first time to highlight, and I was obsessed. So I'm going to be taking my MAC Minimalized Skin Finish in the shade Soft and Gentle. Just getting some sort of on like the tip of the brush. And then going in. Ooh. Okay, so the lighting has literally gone to shit, but it's because the sun is setting. We're just going to stick through this, though. Um, for some reason, my camera stopped recording when I applied my lipstick, but I'll just tell you what I used. I used MAC Spice Lip Liner and, Lip Liner and MAC Viva Glam 2 Lipstick, and that's all I did on my lips. Alright, so yeah, that's it for the makeup. Um, I really wish the lighting wasn't so bad so that way you could see it a little bit better. But, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, let me know what you think down below. And if you have any requests, let me know. And, yeah, I hope you guys have a nice day. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.